In today's episode, a truck will play hide and seek. <laughs> Popcorn will be made. And a train will hit you. Even though the Devel 16 hypercar may be fiction, its engine is definitely not. 16 cylinders and a quad turbo setup result in 5000 horsepower. It uses 1 liter of fuel every 2 seconds. And if you are still not convinced that this engine is stronger than your poor fiction, take a look at the fan vent blades that almost get close to the amount of air the engine is consuming. Apparently, the only thing that can suck better is your mud. On track days, it is super important to factor in the brake performance of the cars ahead of you. Since you know, some cars are not only better at accelerating, but also braking. In this case, it was more of a driver error, but it is still a cold ground situation. Demolition derbies are a popular way to ruin your spine and break a bone here and there. But there is a way to spice it up even more. Just simply use combine harvesters. Of course it had to be American. The term just a tap refers to drifters touching the wall with their car. It may not hurt too much if you drive a 90s shitbox, but what about a 3 million hypercar? Well, this happened on the Silverstone circuit where an Aston Martin Valkyrie was being pushed on the limit. The fate of your project car can completely change within a second. This guy had to experience just that while practicing in his Nissan 240SX. Obviously, it's good that this happened on a closed road where you cannot really hurt anyone but yourself. Imagine driving home on a Sunday afternoon and suddenly a swarm of 10 ton road steam engines drive in the oncoming lane towards you. On a side note, those machines are absolutely amazing. The perfect launch on a motorcycle is achieved when the front wheel doesn't lift and the rear tire doesn't slip. This is how it looks in practice. Also, it is essential to have an alien laser beam shining in your face while drag racing your motorcycle. Some people have very unique taste in styling their car. Some like to go lower, some like to go higher, and some want their exhaust to look like Babushka's coal oven. Okay, so what's the recipe to making an insane drag racing car? Take an old Japanese car, remove everything from the inside, put some fat tires in the back or front or both, add nitrous injection and paint it yellow. Et voilà, a car that will give you back problems. How would a fighter jet inspired Ferrari look like? This is the Jambala MiG U1. Basically, it is a Ferrari Enzo that has elements inspired by a Russian fighter jet. I personally don't like it, and I prefer the original Enzo. What do you think? I would argue that front-wheel drive cars are better at doing burnouts. Here is a SAP 95 shredding some tires. The 
this is the UAS 967. While it may seem like a small tiny amphibious vehicle, you are right, it is tiny. It is not like an iceberg that has 90% of its mass underwater. Oh, and a small fact, it likes to pee. A lot. Szépen pisil, gyönyörűen nyomja, most hogy megcsináltuk. Normálna vizsgáját. Kármint, 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 Brab 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 The safest and cheapest way to practice drifting requires you to have two things: a Miata and snow. That's all. I've been looking for hours to find information about this crash test to no avail. One thing is for sure, this is not a standard safety test and every other car would fail here, obviously. Unless you drive a Dave Mattis, of course. The cascadeur se résume à casser des voitures. Bon, vous avez un petit peu raison. Okay, here are two videos that could have been filmed with a Xbox 360 controller. That does matter since you can still see a perfectly executed Scandinavian flick in a Fiat 126P. and a Mazda 323 GT. <laughs> Ever wondered why some rally cars seem to have a popcorn machine under the bonnet? Well, the crackling sound comes from the water cooling system for the turbo, and I love it. Okay, so you have seen all sorts of truck, tractor and tank pulling competitions. Well, as it turns out, some people are so passionate about this that they also organize it at a smaller scale. Literally, this is a radio controlled tractor pulling competition. And I must say, these little beasts are amazing. As you may know, Saab also builds fighter jets. In fact, they are so proud of this that they add nice little details inspired by fighter jets to their cars. Here on the dash, you can see elements that are inspired by a fighter jet head-up display. Before the 1986 Talladega NASCAR race, something happened that would normally happen in a GTA 5 mission. 20-year-old Darren Crowder was traveling on his bike when he decided to check out the race that he originally did not want to visit. The start was delayed and the pace car for this car was left unattended for some time. Darren used this opportunity to jump two fences and eventually steal the car. Well, the pace car, we understand, has been stolen. After doing a few laps on the racetrack, he got stopped by the police and marshals. Then they beat the shit out of him. Oh. The pace car has not been caught. When he gets to the uh, roadblock, will he try to go through it or will he stop and be captured? The story of that man who makes a living by going around crashing parties, but this is certainly a first. And you can see the minute where the track was without power, at least many of the significant points, including the press box. What is the best way to crash, or better said, almost crash? Save your bike in the last second, but still learn about preventing the crash in the future without a single bit of damage on your bike. Another episode, another guess the car by the engine sound. This is a Volkswagen Transporter with a 2.5 TDI diesel engine. How many trucks will fit inside a standard sized shipping container? One? Two? What about three? Question is, how will this guy get outside again?
One of my subscribers has a small block 360 engine with what he describes as meaty cams. And yes, it sounds crispy. No, this is not a video game, this is real life. A RFI Honda NSX carving roads around Suzuka. On the day where the V8 Formula 1 era came to an end, some teams decided to try and kill the already race-worn V8 engines. Here it is happening with the championship winning Red Bull RB9, driven by Sebastian Vettel or Mark Webber, I can't tell. This is the Opel Manta B. It did not have the best engines, nor performance, but the looks kind of make up for it. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want more, check out my second channel. Have a nice day. Sense.